What's up everybody? My name is James Franchise. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're continuing the next video on my series, Friends Helping Friends Make Content. Now today, I'm gonna to be talking about one of the best ways to make money as an independent artist. A good friend of mine who's putting out an EP very soon, my good friend Azure, uh, always always contacts me and, and, and he always wants like little nuggets here and there and he's always asking me questions and I love that. And, and actually like a lot of people throughout this time of me uh, creating content and making these worship covers, a lot of people hit me up asking me for advice and which is good. I love that. I love that. But he kind of like he, he asked me a question that, that kind of like provoked a certain thought and like I feel like most artists just don't know what I'm about to tell them and and it's it's just like I feel like it's common knowledge but like these people don't know so I'm gonna make a video about it so the number one way to make money as an independent artist, if you're a local band, if you are just starting out, the number one way is to sell merch. Now, here's the thing. It's not about just printing t-shirts and getting shirts done and, you know, selling and that's it. There's a process to getting your content to a certain level before you sell merch. Now, before I get into all the mathematics of why merch is the most profitable and best way for an artist to make money, um, I'm gonna get into uh, what I believe you should be doing before you even create merch. Now, if you haven't dropped any music yet, you want to drop some music. And you want to, in a day like today, you better be dropping them singles and not, not hitting people up with like a whole album, a whole 10 song album. If you drop a 10 song album, then that shows the world that you really don't care about your music. You really don't care about specific songs that you're putting out because guaranteed there's going to be some songs in there that are going to be left in the shadows if you don't promote properly so you better be dropping singles and for each single you better be building an entire story around each single so you got to be doing this before you even think about merch you got to be doing this now how do you build a story that's going to be in future videos but at the minimum you should have a single screen video which is just your album cover or your single cover playing on a video you should have a lyric video that's number two and lastly you should have a music video some kind of visual some kind of music video attached to your song so after you do this after you have, at the minimum, three songs ready to go, drop these singles at least once a month. The minimum, once a month. I, I like to do six weeks, but sometimes the demand is a little stronger for my fan base and my niche. So I'll, I'll do once every three to four weeks. Um, then you got to have some shows booked because it's gonna be hard to sell merch if you're not like physically bringing your content to people. Either that, or you should have some kind of like online streaming presence. If you don't wanna do shows, which is fine. Again, we live in a weird age where like things are different than they were back then. So you don't have to physically go and do shows, but you should be streaming. Streaming should be, should replace doing live shows. You got to do one or the other. So you got to have like some streams lined up or some shows lined up where where you are uh, active so that you can sell the I almost hit a duck 
so you can sell uh, the merch. That's what you. That's what you need. You need to bring this content to people so people can see your value. Bring in your music in a physical form so you can show your value to people. Then you create merch, and when you got merch, and honestly, like people, like I saw a comment in in a Facebook group, like, oh, um, if you're not selling merch, then you need to get a better design because your design is trash like okay yes and no like you're not gonna have like weird like half effort designs on your t-shirts but also you don't really have to pay so much for a graphic artist um you can literally get your name with a really really cool font and just put that on a shirt and that's your design and people will support. If they like your content, if they like your music, people will support. Doesn't matter what you got on that shirt. So let's get into the mathematics of why making shirts is so profitable. And this, this band, like I, I've played with bands and it, and it drives me wild. It drives me crazy. I've played shows with bands that are good. And I'm telling you, like, better than us at the time. And I'm like, yo, these guys are good. And I, and I go to the singer, I'm like, yo, you guys are good. I mean, I want to help you guys out. I'll give you guys some gas money or let's see what, what merch you got for sale. Oh, we don't have merch at the moment. It's something that we were thinking about. We want to get merch and we want to, we want. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. And I'm talking like, the show had maybe like 100, 120 people. Imagine converting at least like 25% of, of people in attendance that you're selling merch to. $25 a shirt. Anyway, let's get into the mathematics of it. Let's say you're buying the shirt. It's one, let's say one, one font, one color, black shirts. So you go basic, Gildan Soft which is like the most basic basic shirt and Gildan gets a lot of flag but I think there's like different like tiers of, of Gildan shirts and I think like one of them is called Gildan Soft or something like that where it's not like that hard like cotton like regular Gildan shirt I think those are, are pretty good and um, it's not like it's not nothing crazy but um okay let's so say you're paying nine dollars let me pull out my calculator Let's say, let's say you're paying $9 a shirt. I'll, I'll pull up my calculator real quick. Calculator. All right. I got my calculator. Let's say you're paying $9 a shirt. Most, most, uh, pr like shirt printing companies will ask you to do a minimum of 24 shirts so nine times 24 216 dollars 200 let me see all right there you go 216 dollars that's really doable especially if you're in a band if you're in a band and out of the four of you out of the three of you out of the five of you you guys cannot put together 216 dollars it's time to it's time to reset your priorities. I'm telling you right now, and that's aggressive, and that's harsh. But stop buying Chinese food. Stop buying takeout. Say no to that social function. Say no to all those subscription services. It's people that got subscription services for one TV show. Time to say no to that. Get together with your people. Or if you're by yourself, save up money, $216 for a bulk of 24 shirts. You're going to price the shirts minimum $20. If you, if you, if you put in time to, if you put in energy, if you put in time to your content, into your, into your artistry, into your music, minimum $20 a shirt. So if you got 24, 24 shirts, 
times $20. $480 you're making off this off this bulk of shirts. You see what I'm saying? Like people neglect making merch and this is crazy to me. $480. That's crazy. So, you minus what was the the figure? 216. You're making $264 in profit. That's more than twice your profit. That's crazy. Go to any drug dealer and tell them you're making, you're buying the drugs for $9 a pop, selling it for 20. And they'll tell you, yo bro, that's a come up. That's a come up and a half. So use the 216, buy more shirts and keep that cycle going. In a year, two years, you'll be in profit. And that's the math behind it. To me, I mean, I don't know. Tell me in the comments if I'm bugging, if I'm going crazy. But to me, that's the best way. That's the best way to make money. That's the number one best way to make money. And people complaining about pay to play or don't pay to play. Or people complaining, oh, Spotify for every three plays gives me one cent. Like, why are you trying to make your money off, off of Spotify? Why are you trying to make money off of ticket sales in New York City or in a local show? Like these promoters gotta gotta pay their 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 stuff. These promoters are gonna take take the money. Why are you why are you complaining about that? Go get merch. Go put on a, a a a good performance. Put on a good performance. Work on your your musicianship. Work on your stage presence. Make a memorable performance. You make a memorable performance, you're selling out of your merch. And I'm telling you, because I've been there. I've been there where not even a, like we, we, we practice our tails off and we sold out on merch. Anyway, it's just something that I think, you know, more people should know. And hopefully this video helps you send this to, to your bandmates and tell them like, look, James Franchise said we got to pay for merch. Let's pay for merch. But more bands need to be doing this, especially if you're just starting out. You got to get on that merch. Set yourself up to make yourself, make your value known. Get that merch. Sell out of that merch. Keep buying merch. Keep playing your shows. Keep going live. That's the way to do it. Anyway, I've been James Franchise. I feel like this was like a dad moment. Like, I feel like a dad, like, like talking to my kids. But, um, yeah, I love you guys, man. And. You know, I I, 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 I I say all of this out of love. Um, yeah, I want to see you guys succeed. So, yeah, love you guys. Uh, catch you guys in the next video. Comment, like, subscribe, do all the stuff you got to do to this video, man. Take care.